Welcome back my lovely. So today is another holiday look into my holiday series. Today, um, not only did I do a smoky eye, but I did glitter on the bottom. You probably can't see because I didn't go too heavy on it, but I try to keep it smoky and then glittery and fun. With this look, you could use any type of glitter. Honestly, you could have done a glitter um, eyeliner if you wanted, but I just kind of wanted to keep it simple and just put glitter on the bottom line. Today I did a talk through because I haven't done one in a bit. So I thought I would do that for you guys. People requested that I do another look with this. And so the only thing that I did not use from this palette was the black eyeshadow. That was from a different palette, but... Um, besides that, I used uh, two colors from this palette to make this look. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get right into the tutorial. I already did my eyebrows um, and I already primed my skin so I sprayed some MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus and I let that sink into my skin for a bit and then I put on the Smashbox Pore Minimizing um, Primer. So moving on, we're going to prime our eyelids and do a our eyeshadow. So that way we can just move on to the face when we're done. So as usual, I'm going in with my NARS Creamy Concealer in Ginger to just use this. I use this as a primer for my eyes. Um, I work I feel like it works really well and I'm not a big fan of eye primers because the ones that I've used, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I use too much product or what it is, but they always come out patchy like every time I try to like put product on them they come out patchy so I don't really like them but you know everyone has their own preference I guess so this is mine and if you are looking for a primer or whatever I highly recommend this because I I feel like it lasts forever it doesn't crease your eyeshadow and I'm going to be setting that with Laura Mercier translucent powder just so it doesn't move anywhere and it's ready for product. I'm gonna be going into my crease first and I'm gonna be using this Sherbert color which is kind of like an orangey orangey peach color from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and it's this I'm going to be going in with this color from the palette as well. It's called Hot Chocolate. It's like a brown cocoa color. And a really bit, a really small bit of product as I said because we're going to be building up this color. So I'm just going to go over the other color that we used. The other color we used is going to work as our transition color. So we're done with that. Next, I'm going to be taking my Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. I'm going to use this to put onto my eyelid, and it's going to work as a base for the black shadow we're going to be applying. So just a little bit of product, and then we're going to try and blend it out. This is not the easiest product to blend out, but it's definitely blendable. just takes a little time. So going in with that smaller where the hell did it go where did the brush go oh it's right here right in front of my arms so I'm putting just a little bit of product on and then blending it out and if I need more product I'll add more and then blend it out taking serious which is in the nude um the nude tude palette from the bomb right there 
I'm just going to be taking that onto a flat top brush and then I'm just going to be packing on the color. And it doesn't matter if you get any fallout because we can clean that up with concealer or a beauty wipe. Just, just slowly packing the color on. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to be blending this stuff out anyway, so just a good amount and then doing the same to the other eye. I'm going to be just blending that in. Just so we don't have any harsh lines. So going in with my Locket Concealer from Kat Von D, I'm just going to go over any like blemishes or red marks that I have just to kind of conceal those areas. And then just with a damp beauty blender, just blend that all out. Moving on from that, I'm going to be using my foundations and I tried this out yesterday and I liked it so I'm going to do it today. I'm doing, for this look you can have whatever type of skin you want but for me I want it to be matte and full coverage. So I'm going to be using this Amazonian Clay and the Born This Way foundation and I'm going to be mixing them together. And I'm just going to be doing that on my hands. I'm just going to grab a little bit from both. Let's see. Oh, it's like sliding out, but and then I'm just gonna blend it in with my finger and then just dab it onto my face. And with that same beauty blender, I'm gonna be moving on to my concealer. To highlight, so this is the one that I use, the LA Pro Girl in Natural, and I'm just going to be taking it and applying some right under the eye. And I'm just going to kind of make like a V shape, kind of like a triangle. And then bringing the product a little bit out. This concealer is my life. Like, I feel like it leaves such a pretty nice highlight and it just sets so well with like the powder the loose powder that I use to set it so and I am going to be bringing it up into the nose this gives you the effect to look like you have a slimmer nose so and then a little bit just So then to set all of my face, I'm going to be going in, except my under eye area, I'm going to be going in with my um, MAC Studio Fix Powder, and I'm just going to powder all over my face. Okay, and then for my under eye area, I'm going to be using that Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and what I like to do is I just like to pour some into the lid, and then grab another beauty blender, and then just... Pack it on and then pack it on to my eye area. And I'm just going to put that a little bit all over the areas that I tend to get oily as well. So I'm going to skip eyeliner today and I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply a thin coat of mascara. Brush away any excess powder you have from that baking. So I'm taking Bahama Mama and just a kind of a angled 
brush and I'm gonna be just bronzing up my face because I look like a pale mess. Um, I am running on low battery, so hopefully I can finish this video before my camera dies. And I also already applied my fake lashes. The ones that I used are Soho from... This camera is not... There we go. Soho from Kogo Lashes. Um, and then just going in with that same translucent powder, I'm just going to be cleaning up that contour. I'm just going to be taking just a small fluffy brush. Um, and I'm going to be taking that color, brown color, color and putting it on the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to take the black color, the black eyeshadow, and then going over that brown. Oop, a little too much launch on. And then I'm going to take a, just a gel liner to line my eyes. So I'm going to be using this Tarte brush. It's really thin. And then I'm going to be using my Maybelline um, makeup or the Maybelline Eye Studio liner. And I'm just going to be putting that right on my waterline. Going in with the blending brush we used, I'm going to be just blending this all out. I'm going to be taking this eyeshadow from Urban Cosmetics, Urban Decay Cosmetics, and I'm going to be taking... Ooh. It's called Cosmic, so this is what it looks like. It's a white... Um, kind of like pigment almost and it's super glittery and I just dropped it so taking the same flat brush I used earlier I'm going to be taking some of that product and spraying it with fix plus and then we're just going to be applying it on the bottom so wherever we placed that black the smoky black underneath we're just going to kind of go over it So going in with this blush from Tarte, it is called Exposed. So it's kind of like a pinky, mauve type color. And I'm just going to be taking just a little bit onto my blush brush and just kind of putting it on the apples of my cheek and then bringing it up. Got to put mascara on the bottom lashes. Just going to run through those and put a small coat. So then to highlight, I'm going to be using my palette from The Bomb and I'm going to be oop, using a Mary Luminizer and I'm just going to spray a little bit of my Fix Plus onto my brush just to kind of dampen it up a bit. And for the lip, you could go whichever way you want, but for me, I want to use a lip gloss, so I'm going to be using one of the lip glosses from the Lustrous um, set from Anastasia Beverly Hills. If you guys want to see a review on it and swatches and try on, I have a video for that that I will also link in the bottom bar for you. this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys liked it big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw or you haven't subscribed already and i will see you lovelies in my next video